Hello everyone. We will deliver the news that became a hot topic on July 11, 2023. Bleepy idiot, Wagner's men spill messy secrets of Russian mutiny. The Daily Beast. Government of the Russian Federation. CC by 3.0. Via Wikimedia Commons while the future of the Wagner mercenary group hangs in the balance following. Yevgeny Prigozhin's attempted mutiny in Russia. Fissures are emerging within Wagner group itself over whether Prigozhin is worth following. Anymore. My comrades and I fought for the country. Not for some cocky idiot and his personal ambitions, Roman. A former Wagner fighter. Told the Moscow Times. Referring to Wagner boss Prigozhin, Vlad. Another four. Below are your comments. When the coup fails, deny you were ever in favor of it. Works in Congress. Said it may work in Russia. Two. What else are they going to say? They probably fear for their lives now, after the rebellion. The Wagner troops are ideologues. I thought they were pure mercenaries who agreed to accept payment for their military fighting. No matter how Prigozhin's rebellion turns out, Prigozhin still punked Putin and showed the world how vulnerable both Putin and Russia really are. The fighters have been given the option to move to Belarus or join the military as well. Next news. Sex charges dismissed against reality TV doctor and girlfriend. Associated Press. A California judge has dismissed sex charges against a reality TV show doctor and his girlfriend, who had been accused of drugging and raping women in a case that drew international attention. Court records show that charges of assault with the intent to commit a sexual offense were dismissed Friday against Dr. Grant Robichaux, a surgeon who previously appeared on a Bravo TV show called Online Dating Rituals of the American. Male and girlfriend Sarissa Riley. Below are your comments. Without and proof, it is tough to convict, but they're still guilty of being lowlife losers. So you bleep his life and you did not have any proof, really. Money talk. Criminal walk. Must have been hot. Next news. Scientists discover, overlooked, natural solution to some of the world's biggest air pollution. Problems the cool down. Now. They are calling on the world's leaders to initiate protections so this ancient air cleaning process can be maintained. Below are your comments. Paul Stamets has been saying stuff exactly like this for close to two decades now. He has advocated fiercely for city parks at spaced intervals to allow mycorrhizal networks to grow and remain connected, which of course I'm sure was mostly laughed at when it wasn't ignored. The primary benefit of these. If compost were used instead of chemical fertilizer the soil would be helped a whole lot. So it could help other things better. I fail to see how plant life to curb pollution and carbon is new. That's been around since the early 70s. What would be new is for people to stop cutting down the rainforest. The subtropical forest. And a control on urban sprawl. But that will never happen. We will continue to pollute the air we. Our last president repealed the Clean Water Act, which had been in effect since 1948 and strengthened in 1972. Millions and millions of acres of low land were tiled, ditched and drained. Now we have nitrogen, weed bleeper and insecticides in our drinking water. Our fungi systems are dying rig. All well and good. Maybe the answer is to let nature do what it does best. Next news. Ruling expected Tuesday in runner Castor Semenya's human rights appeal against sex eligibility rules. Associated Press. The European Court of Human Rights is expected to deliver what could be the final word Tuesday in. Olympic champion runner Castor Semenya's years-long legal challenge against rules that force her and other female athletes to lower their natural hormone levels through medical intervention to be allowed to compete in women's track and field races. The testosterone limits have effectively put a stop to Semenya's career by barring her from running in her favored 800 meters event, where she is a two-time Olympic champion and three-time world champion. 
Since 2019, the South African athlete has refused to follow the rules and take medication to artificially lower her testosterone. Below are your comments. Western civilization has now crossed the insanity threshold. Destruction and desecration of all thing female-related seems to be the ultimate goal. Either respect natural, normal, women or just do away with women's sport altogether. If the Olympics is turned into a freak show, there won't be much point in having it. If she is a female and happens to have extra high testosterone levels. Naturally, they shouldn't hold that against her. But it does show that testosterone is a factor in all things sports related. And further reinforces that trans need to stay out of female only sports competitions. Allow this and the Olympics are toast. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.